Welcome fellow masters, my name is Musaki from Kadia Gurus and it is on. At 1pm Eastern today it was announced that the next story chapter, Okeanos, will be released on the 28th of September. Time to throw a party guys! Woo! Hashtag GGP in hopes of Guda Guda coming soon. But naturally, you may have some questions about the new story that's coming, and that's what we're going to talk about today. The first thing we're going to talk about today is a 10 free quartz giveaway. Fate Grand Order US will be giving out 10 Saint Quartz if this post on Facebook gets 20,000 likes or 5,000 shares. Honestly, I believe they were blown away when they did this for Golden Kentucky and decided to up the ante. How are we doing with that goal? Eh, about halfway for both options. Honestly, we'll hit that goal in about another day or two. The next up, talk a little bit of the background of the third Singularity Okeanos. The Third Grand Order is set in 1573. This is the age of exploration where many pirates give their lives for endless treasures. In this sealed sea, Okeanos, due to the incineration of humanity, legendary pirates will risk everything for their greatest treasure, the Holy Grail. Okeanos in Greek means ocean. It is also Iskander, the King of Conquerors, ultimate goal. To reach the end of the world and leave his footprints at the beach beside the endless sea. Unfortunately, the King of Conquerors himself is not available for a raid up, but you will see him later down the line. What about the items that we can farm from this new node? Oh, that's a lot. Going over the items that are available, you'll be able to farm for Void Dust, Hero's Proof, Dragon Fangs, Octuplet Twin Crystal, Snake Jewels, Unlucky Bones, Yggdrasil Seeds, Ghost Lanterns, and finally, the Covenant Meteoric Horseshoe. The Meteoric Horseshoe is mainly used for Rider class servants. If you're trying to level up servants beyond their second limit, these are the items you're going to need. And this is the only place that you can farm them now. Let's go over a few tips and information about this chapter. Okeanos is the first chapter that has long chapters with high AP costs. Seriously. It'll definitely be in the double digits and you'll have a long series of events to go through. If you have apples saved, this will be a good time to use them if you want to go straight through the story. A monstrous boss that attacks the whole party, plus a caster that constantly heals, is awaiting you toward the end of the story. I'm not going to spoil who or what, but make sure you bring your A-game. At the end of the story, you will be getting a Grail, which means this is our fourth Grail that we'll be getting, and we will be gifted with a three-star archer, David. Oh, did I forget to mention? We have new servants, baby, but uh, you already knew that. The other new servants that we have, aside from the Archer David at 3-star rarity, is Hector, Lancer, 3-star rarity, Uriel, sister to Sinnoh, and Medusa, 3-star archer, and Anne-Marie, 4-star rider. These servants are all going to be pretty good, but keep your eye on the 3-star servants that are now added to the pool. Specifically, Uriel who essentially makes her four-star sister irrelevant. Don't tell her I said that. There's also another servant that is locked until the end of the story. If you want to have a chance at this servant, I'd suggest waiting to the end to roll. And why would you roll? Because Francis Drake, five-star writer non-limited from the Fate Extra series, servant of Shinji. Sorry, I had to compose myself. Anyway, if you remember, in my quick team setup video, there is a serious lack of power and focus when it comes to critical stars. Francis Drake is the pirate queen of stars. Literally, all of her skills have something to do with criticals and her noble phantasm, as you can see here, it's everything. Would I roll for her? Definitely. She is currently the best rider in the game, and the only 5-star rider available in the US. And that is about it. What are your guys' thoughts? Are you excited like I am? Do you want more videos like this? Let us know in the comments below what you're excited about in Okeanos. I'm Musaki from Kadia Gurus, signing off.